Hello everyone, it is day three of our 30, 30, 30 weight loss challenge. And tonight on my meal plan is uh, fajita bowls and we're doing beef, okay? But you can do chicken or beef or whatever you wanna do, steak. All right, so I'm gonna show you how I prep my meat. I like to add in some vegetable oil and then I like to add in some of my fajita McCormick. about half and then I'm going to add in some of my adobo. Now keep in mind you can season yours with whatever floats your boat honey and then we're going to toss that around and just get it coated real good and then you just want to cover it and put it in the fridge and while this is in the fridge marinating we're going to go ahead and start cutting up our onions and peppers. All right I got my veggies cut up my meat is nice. It's been marinating about 15, 20 minutes. Just wanna go ahead and add your oil to your skillet. And I'm gonna start off with cooking my vegetables. Whatever those are. I'm doing onions red and green bell pepper. I'm also gonna add me some mushrooms because y'all know I love mushrooms. And we're gonna cook these on a high heat. We're stirring them. Not long because we need our vegetables to still have a crunch. Okay, I did cover my veggies. I've been cooking them about four minutes. And as you can see, they are just perfect, okay? So covering them helps them to cook quicker. They got soft, but not to the point where they don't still have a crunch or a crisp to them, a firmness. And now I can go ahead and remove these from the heat. While my pan is still nice and hot, I'm gonna add a little bit more oil. We're gonna add in that beef that we set aside. Mm -hmm. And we're going to cook our beef until it's done. And because it's so thin, usually when your beef is brown, it's pretty much done, okay? Now as you cook your meat, you're going to see that seasoning show up and show out. You see it? But we are not going to. So once your meat browns, add you some water, just a little bit, or beef broth. I'm adding in beef broth. About that much. You can go ahead and turn your stove down to about a medium. Add in the rest of that fajita. And just stir it in. Once you get that stirred in, go ahead and grab those vegetables that you set aside. And you're just gonna add them in, okay? So get those in there. And then you just wanna mix it well. Okay. Like this. Once you get it mixed in, I'm gonna cover mine and I'm gonna give it about five more minutes. So while I'm doing that, I'm gonna warm some tortillas for the girls and I'm gonna prepare my lettuce for my fajita bowls. All right, y'all, I am going to uh, put together mine first to show you all how I make my uh, fajita bowls, which is the low carb version. So you just wanna get you some lettuce and actually you don't even have to have lettuce. I just love lettuce. Now, if you don't like lettuce, leave it out because the whole point is for you to have a bowl of meat and vegetables, okay? And you can add your cheese and things like that. So I'm going to add in meat, a bed, um, my romaine hearts. And then you wanna add your meat in. Ooh, y'all, it looks so good. I just wish, honey, you all could smell mm, mm, mm. this deliciousness. And just lay it on top of there like that. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. Just like that. I'm gonna add a little more. What you think? <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay. And then you want to add your cheese, whatever cheese you like. Yeah, I know what I'm doing. I am going for my shade cheese. And then if you want sour cream or salsa, I have those here, but I'm gonna put those with my daughters because I'm I like the now you all know if you've been following me, you know I love my Mateo, so I'm gonna eat mine with that. But first I want to show you all how I make my daughters. But this is my low carb, low carb beef fajita bowl. And just add you a little salsa and sour cream. It's really, really delicious. All right. I warm some tortillas. I'm gonna lay them here. So perfect. I forgot this is one that holds three. Yay! And now we're gonna add in our meat. Can you all see? Okay, just to make sure I see move that over out the way. Try not to drop anything. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. And the wonderful thing about making fajitas at home is you can make a lot or way less <laughs> than what you're going to pay at the restaurant. They don't charge you a lot. Not even a whole lot, but you don't get a lot. And if you want leftovers, guess what? All you have to do is go to the fridge. You don't have to go back to the restaurant. <laughs> so that's the wonderful part about that. But those of you in the weight loss group, you definitely have to try it. You can use your own seasoning, but give that a McCormick a fajita seasoning a try. It's really good, actually. <laughs> I'm just getting another one on there. All right, I love how fajitas are really juicy, okay? At least they should be. They shouldn't be dry. All right, add you a little cheese if you want. My girls like cheese, so we're gonna put a little cheese on there, like that. And then don't forget about those mushrooms in there and their low carb. And then I'm gonna let them eat theirs with their sour cream and their Mateo salsa and whatever else they want. If they wanna add a little bit of lettuce on there, they could. They can add a little bit. I don't know if I had it on, but they won't mind. Especially Layla, she likes to eat like I eat, so she kinda of eat whatever. <laughs> Plus it's good, you know? And that's pretty much it, y'all. Simple and easy. This got to be the easiest thing to make. Well, not the easiest, but you know what I'm saying. Super easy. Okay, well, let's bring back mine. So which one are you going with? You going with the low carb? Huh? Or are you going with the carbohydrates? <laughs> Either way, they're both delicious. I want to thank you all so much for watching, and you have a wonderful, blessed evening.